How's it going everybody? My name is Swan and welcome back to another video. Guys, today we'll be reacting to Season 3, Episode 11 of Demon Slayer. The last episode was a banger. We're pretty much dialed down on Hantengu. Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Genya were able to break away the wood. Uh, we now actually see Hantengu, but as he's running away, you know, he's saying, I've never uttered a lie before, you know, what have I done? So to jump into my notes, my first note being, dude, Hantengu's backstory, there has to be some reason. I'm thinking that he was convicted of lying or convicted of something, even though he was innocent. Because of this, he was sentenced to death. And then somehow a demon found him, turned him into a demon. And he's manifested these emotions as his protectors, all four of them combined being hatred. Uh, because that's how Hantengu truly feels towards the world, which, you know, if you're convicted of something you didn't do, you know, he says, I've never uttered a lie before. I think that'd make me pretty hateful towards the world because, you know, you're innocent. You didn't do anything. Mitsuri is pulled through. She's absolutely clapping these Hydra dragons. She's working upper four like it's nothing. Uh, we do get her backstory. Towards the beginning of the episode, we saw upper four basically screech attack Mitsuri into a flashback. Uh, we saw where Mitsuri came from. We saw her upbringing, how she's always been strong, uh, her hair color. She even dyed it black to appeal to I guess the social norms but basically society wasn't accepting her for who she is um, you know she has a lot of unique characteristics about herself which makes her her which I think are really really cool uh, even her parents thought are cool which you know you can even see that in the disappointment in their faces when she was changing herself uh, for the social norms she's always been insanely strong we saw her take on some sumo wrestlers like it was nothing and even present day we saw from one of the hydra like wooden dragons it like came into attack and she just she took it she took it head on no problem no issue she caught it like oh my god bro she's insanely strong was able to save tondra was able to come in and save the day uh yeah like i said she's given up before the work but the flashback was really nice because we end up seeing Mitsuri join the hashira you know she's she's accepted by the master she's even liked by the the snake hashira he gave her some socks and you know i'm not sure if that's a um Maybe I need to take some tips on hitting on women because I've never offered socks before. But she loved it, so buy them socks. I mean, does, does that work? You guys let me know. Um, <laughs> but I love the message from the flashback being that there will always be a place that accepts you. You should never hide the unique characteristics about yourself that makes you you. You should be who you are no matter what the circumstance. And even if you know the place that you're in right now doesn't accept that, there will be a place later down the line that does great example for Mitsuri. You know, the environment around her, the people around her weren't accepting her, yet the Hashiras, bro, like, you're a damn Hashira. Like, that's the coolest of cool. The truly important people will be the ones you. But I love the message of the flashback. I really felt like the last episode was really strong. Got me emotional, surprisingly. Yes, but the last episode ended us off with Genya throwing a tree at Hantengu and Nezuko coming in with one of her specialty kicks. But guys, as far as my notes go from the last episode, that's all I have. I'm super excited to get in this next one. It's called a connected bond, daybreak, and first light. So, with all that being said, without further ado, let's jump right into the season finale. It's true. They, like, just do things to fill their own satisfactions. But Hantengu's like, at least this one, you know, fear. He's just running. Oh, that was epic. Damn straight. We don't give up. That's not what we do. Bro, Ginya's just... Throwing everything. I mean, you gotta give it to him. He's quick. Yeah, he runs really fast. I suppose if fear is your thing, then you'd be very quick, running from everything. Oh my god, bro, this has been such a long... It's been a, like a seven episode night. What just happened? Oh. As I say, yeah, his foot got smashed. I'm surprised he's running at all. No way. No shot. Oh, that's sick. No way. Bro, are you fucking joking me? Bro, Tanjiro is- 
damn! Bro, Tanjiro just used thunder breathing. I mean, I guess everything derived from sun breathing, so... I mean, technically he could, but... Let's go, Tanjiro. Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh my god, I guess he's... Oh, this is insane. I guess you could also attack out of fear, right? I guess fear is multi... Holy shit. Bro, I was not expecting for that. Nice, Nezuko. Bro, what a grip. Nice, Ginya. Oh shit, right. I didn't even think about Nezuko's blood demon art affecting Genya. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Bro, this is wild. Wow. Can he not reach? Okay, that's what I was. Can he not regenerate his arm? Zohakten. Oh, is that hatred? Oh, I see. I was wondering how Ginyu was able to pull his arms off. It's just because I guess his power got dispersed through hatred. Bro, Tanjiro's conviction is insane. <gasps> Bro! What a line! Be scared, man. Bro, a motivated Tondra is not someone you want to be up against. <laughs> Bro, it's so weird hearing him talk. In like a... In a different voice. <laughs> She is a handful. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy that his durability is that sh Is that much? A Hinokami from Tanjiro should, you know... Should do it. <laughs> Bro, I, can't, I still can't believe he used Thunder Breathing. I said, that doesn't sound like Genya. Oh! Oh, is that? Is that Kotets? Oh, it's Muichiro! There's Kotets. <laughs> okay, so that is... That's the new sword! I'm surprised they managed to get it away from Haganeska. Bro, that's so sick! Dude, Tanjiro's new sword came from, what do you say, the, the Edo period, or...? 300-year-old sword. Dude, he's dialed in! On an injured foot. Oh! Thunder breathing in Hinokami? Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh, this wraps! Holy shit! Dancing Flash! Dude, nah, that sword's halfway? Oh my god! Nah, bro, that sword's insane. Oh, part of his arm regenerated. Uh, what's the catch? What? Good! He'll burn! Oh my god, Nezuko! Oh!
No, 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 no. Bro, let's go run! Yes! No! Let's go turn around, bro! Go He's okay, he's fine. Yeah, go hide. Bro. Is it not a Nietzschean blade? It changed. Resentment? What? No, the sun. No, no. No shot, no shot. No way, man. Is he not? Why? No way, man. What do you do? What do you do? No way. No way. No! What? <sighs> Bro, are you fucking joking me? Bro, no way. No way. Bro, no way Nesco's dying. What? Oh my god. Bro, why? Why? Oh. We're not gonna be able to turn her back? Oh my god. <laughs> she ends, ends with a smile. Oh, Tanjiro, I feel you, man. She knew he would have stayed. So she, so she kicked him off. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Tanjiro, he's that rage, man. Oh my shit. Oh! It's another one in Oh so it didn't it didn't change from fear to resentment. Let's go, Tanjiro! Damn straight, man! Nice! Facts. Yes, sir. Oh man! Mm. Oh, so he did do it. So he actually was lying. Muzan saved them. Oh, wow, so this was a long time ago. Yeah. Damn straight, let's go, Tondro. Oh, 
Oh, damn! Nice! Nice! Let's go! Oh my god! But it doesn't... yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> what? How? Bro, what is happening? And no muscle. What? How? Bro, she's alive! What? She's still a demon. Yeah, bro, what? Uh huh. But she, she doesn't. She can't talk. Doesn't remember how to talk. <laughs> bro, how? How? I don't- I don't get it. <laughs> and me too, me too. Shit, I'll take it, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I was like, there's no way. There's no way we're get- And this goes dying this episode. Shit. I'd be passed out too, man. What a- Oh my god, bro. The things he's been through this night. Oh my god, bro. Um. Holy shit, man. Oh, the timing. Oh, perfect timing. Oh my god, guys. Shit. I didn't know I was gonna need a Kleenex this episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh my shit. Bro, when she kicked him off. Oh my god. Bro, what an episode. Holy shit. Is this on? He knows? How? Oh my god! Nah, bro, Muzan... Bro, Muzan's insane. How does... <laughs> Okay, so the blue spider lily was... Was for sunlight? To be able to withstand sunlight? Oh, damn. You, you talking about Nezuko? Wow. Ah, damn. Yeah, well. No witnesses, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. And I, he just walks right through him like it's nothing. Cool. Cool. 
Bro, no way we're getting a moves on flashback. Oh, he was dying. Oh, he's not even 20 yet. Wow. Well, uh, damn. I don't know. I don't know how uh, it's gonna help you, <laughs> but. What? So he became a demon by the medicine? What was the medicine? What? How did killing the doctor trigger the medicine? Wow, I was not expecting to see Muzan's demon origins. Yeah, it's wraps for y'all. Wow. Yeah, imagine being invincible. Yet you can't do one thing. You can do everything but one thing. Oh, okay, so the medicine was the blue spider lily. Or. Interesting. <laughs> nice, yeah. GG's. <laughs> Killed the one person who knew. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at. Yeah, the ability to survive in sunlight would be true immortality, right? Because something can still kill you. The sun. But Nesuko! How? Bro, she burnt to a crisp! And how does he- how is he able to see that? Damn! That is not good. Tanjiro already had a massive target on his back because of his earrings, but that was like almost kind of like a side quest for Muzan. Hell yeah. Look at that. Tokito is no longer spaced out. Bro. Look at her. <laughs> Haganesuka, bro. That sword just decapitated an upper rank demon. Oh! I just realized. It's so weird seeing Haganesuka's face, but this is what... <laughs> We've only ever seen him get mad at Tanjiro for breaking a sword with a mask on. That's hilarious. And of course, he's chasing him. As per usual. This is so funny. Hey, Mitsuri. Oh. <laughs> Can you? Bro. Yeah. Thank goodness. That should have been the... That should have been the title of this episode, was Thank Goodness. <laughs> Go Tets. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. 
Yeah, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's a really good point. Is it protecting Tondro? Was that the cat? Yeah. So Nezuko's intentionally staying like that? I guess to, to protect Tanjiro? <laughs> oh! Tamiyo knew! Whoa, so... So it's just because her cells are constantly changing? But the fact that Lady Tamiyo was able to pick that up just by examining the blood... Wow, she knew! Dude, that letter would have been nice, like, two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. He saved the Swordsmith Village. True. Everyone put in work. Damn, we knocked out two upper ranks like that. Yeah, me too. Is that Hagen Nezuka? Come on. He's got to understand that we needed it. We had to decapitate Hontengu. Yeah, for sure. It would have been destroyed in seconds. Hagenaiska is so interesting. Oh, he, he wants to say goodbye? I mean, how, how can you stay mad at Tanjiro? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, getting a little bashful, getting a little embarrassed. Dude. <laughs> Bro, Kotats is a wise kid. Oh, yeah. Blindfolded nose plugs. Oh, my God, bro. And I think it's been, what, like two days since we've gotten here? It's been a long two days. Oh. He deserves it. Oh, that's so nice. Bro, what a season. Oh my god. Oh. I'm glad everyone's showing their appreciation. Because Tondra put his life on the line, man. Yeah, when we started rolling the flashbacks for Nezuko, I, uh, bro. I knew it was raps, bro. Dude, they played it up so well. I can't even put into words what I was feeling when Tanjiro, like, was huddled over Nezuko and he was turned around and he saw those three people getting chased and it was like, you know, do you give up Nezuko to go save those three people or, you know, do you give up those three people to, you know, and potentially making Hantegu stronger to save Nezuko? It's like, even her just getting burned alone was like, oh my god, bro, I just... Dude, and then she kicks him off. I I think that's where it really got me. Um, Cause she knew, like she knew, Tanjiro would have picked her over them. Damn, bro, they played it up so well too. The way that the sunlight came in, you know, Nezuko was burning. Tanjiro was like holding onto her with everything he had. And a part of me was believing it too, cause the flashbacks and the fact that like the music too, like we got Nezuko's like piano theme in there, like. Oh my God, bro, that shit was exhausting. But then we go over to Lady Tamio who's been examining her blood, says that it's changing, evolving. I want, is it because? I mean, obviously because Tanjiro and Nezuko are siblings. Tanjiro and that family line knows some breathing. She has a blood demon art. It only affects demons. 
she knows sun breathing, right? Or, I mean, technically, she, she doesn't know sun breathing, but it's in her DNA. That makes sense on how her cells, when exposed to sunlight, doesn't do anything. I'm sure that initial burn and, like, her initially burning was, I guess, the demon cells kind of burning. Yeah, I guess that means that not everyone can learn sun breathing. I guess it means that it's only a certain line. So it's like purely DNA. Because that's the only logical explanation as to why Nezuko could survive the sun and have her blood demon art only affect demons and not humans, as if it is DNA based. Surely it has to be DNA based off of Nezuko's blood results. Assuming that's why it's doing what it's doing. Yeah, Tanjiro using thunder breathing. Bro, the way that he combined them two, oh my god. I mean, we've seen that with water breathing, but we've never even seen him attempt thunder breathing. What a fucking episode, man. Oh my god. Of course, you know, Tanjiro decapitating Hontengu was really cool. Dude, I, mean, I, can't, I can't even imagine the rage. Yeah, because Nezuko at that point just died, and Tanjiro's full of rage. Um, oh my god, bro. The sword, pretty sick. Yeah, he said it's only at its first stage. Thankfully, Tanjiro didn't snap it, because if he did, that would have been that would have been rough. Uh, yeah, because this one isn't exactly a sword you can replace all too easily. This is the sword from 300 years ago, so, you know, that'd be a costly break. Okay, and we also saw Muzan's backstory. So we saw he was 19? He said he's not even 20 yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume he was 19 when he became a demon. So the medicine that the doctor gave him was actually working, and that was the blue spider lily, or the ingredients that Muzan said. He said he saw maybe the blue spider lily in there. But that's what turned him into a d so with that doctor oh yeah yeah yeah. okay so it was the medicine was in its experimental stage so i'm assuming muzan was the first one to have it but i'm wondering why after killing the doctor did that trigger the demon part of muzan you guys are gonna have to explain that to me maybe it was the blood maybe he saw the okay maybe he saw the blood and like thirsted for it i mean that makes sense Maybe that's probably what it was. He saw that human blood and he was like, oh, actually, I'm really thirsty for it. And then he tried it and then he was like, oh, shit, I'm a demon. That's, that's my guess. Which also explains why he wanted to track down the blue spider or lily was because maybe he could reverse engineer it to figure out how maybe he could survive in the sun. Also cool how we saw Muzan and how he came to become a demon. I was not expecting that for the season finale. I honestly thought we were just going to go in. You know, kind of wreck shop on Huntingu, take out Hatred. I really thought that we were going to have more of us against Hatred. I did not have Nezuko dying and seeing Muzan become a demon on my Demon Slayer bucket list for Season 3. Because holy shit. But I, was, I thought I was expecting like a Season 2 finale where, you know, we take out the upper ranks. We get a little backstory to Huntingu. We only got a little bit for Huntingu. And that was, he said his hands did it. I'm wondering if that's some kind of like, like double. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that's why Hontengu was able to manifest these emotions as his demons, was because he was dealing with a multi-personality disorder? Hontengu had a multi- Oh, 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 oh. Hontengu said that he didn't do it because he snapped into a different personality that did it. Like, let's say it was anger, or was it rage that killed the guy with the knife, right? He was, he was on death row and he's sad. And he's like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. You know, it was these hands. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he has some kind of split personality and he just either didn't, or he knew that he did it because obviously maybe he snapped into a different personality and he had a knife in his hand. He's like, oh shit, like what did these hands do? Oh, that makes perfect sense. Cause he was able to split off into other emotions. You guys are gonna have to confirm that for me if that's true, because I think that's what I'm going with. Cause I, I was so confused during the episode. He's like, it wasn't me. It was my hands. And I'm like, wait, 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 what are you talking about? But his demon form, has like so many different emotions, right? So many different personalities. They all had a different per- Yes, yeah, that has to be it. If that's not it, the show is broken. <laughs> oh yeah, when Tanjiro said, which I didn't catch, when he slashed the neck and it didn't burn, I was confused, but then he makes the note that the tongue said that it was resentment and fear was actually hiding in resentment's body. Again, I'll have to go back and double check. Maybe when Hontengu, the fear version, was running away through the like the woods, it swapped with resentment. Yeah, and then resentment grew big, squeezed Tanjiro. Oh, because I was assuming that Hontengu's fear form was doing that out of a different motivation of fear, right? It's like your fight or flight. All this time we've seen this fear of flight by him running that he kind of just snapped and kind of, you know, <laughs> and turned that fear into fight and then turned around, grew big, and then squeezed Tanjiro. Uh, insane strength from Ginya, being able to rip off the arms. Also surprised that Mitsudi was just, you know, about to throw in the towel, 
Uh, she knew that she was getting overwhelmed, and you know, it's justified. Upper four is no joke. Um, but had Tanjiro not decapitated Han Tengu that second, probably a few more seconds, I mean, Sudi would have been dead. That would have been crazy. She rejoins the group and is shocked to see Nezuko, as am I. Even Tanjiro's like, yo, I don't even know what this is. It's crazy that Lady Tamiya was able to predict that based off of the cells. Because it's in the cells. I mean, there's no other explanation for that. It's crazy, though, how Tamiya was able to, to predict that. I just wish we got the letter a couple days earlier. It would have saved me hella tears. Like I said, we had more development into Tanjiro and his Hinokami. He can now combine Thunder Breathing and Hinokami. Um, bro, imagine... Imagine Tanjiro combines as many forms as he possibly can. It'd be like... Holy shit, imagine he could combine Thunder Breathing, Water Breathing, and Hinokami. We got more development into the upper rank demons, but now there's really no point in the upper rank demons, right? I think maybe that's also why we've now gotten rid of the lower three of the upper six, right? Because now Muzon is like, yo, no sense in finding the blue spider lily because now I just need to devour Nezuko. Tanjiro already had a target on his back because he had the Hanafuda earrings. He's of the sun breathing lineage. Now Tanjiro is the side quest and Nezuko is now the main priority because if Muzon can devour her, then he gets to survive in the sun where he's now truly immortal. Um, because now he's technically not immortal. He's very strong, but he still has the sun that can, you know, kill him. I actually loved everything about this season. I thought the animation went hard, the sound went hard, the sound effects, you know, Mitsuri, Tokito, both of their backstories was amazing. Both of their fight scenes and their development, their character development, great. That whole rug pull there at the end of Nezuko. Bro, Kotets, I love Kotets, dude, he's goaded. Wise kid, funny. A show can easily botch the comedic relief or comedy and like, it, it'll really seem forced. But I feel like Kotets was perfect. I feel like he did a great job for that comedic relief. You know, and I really appreciate the fact that the episode ended with the entire Swordsmith Village, you know, seeing off Tanjiro, thanking him, appreciating him because, oh my god, he did a lot. Does that count? Actually, I don't know if that counts as Tanjiro single-handedly taking out an upper rank demon. Just because, you know, had hatred been on his ass, then he probably wouldn't have been able to make it. It was thanks to Mitsuri who, who was holding him off. You know, I guess that doesn't really count as Tanjiro being able to take out an upper rank demon, but I mean, damn. Like, you know, he decapitated Gyutaro, and he decapitated Hontengu. I mean, the guy, you gotta give it to him. Oh my god, what a finale. I really like how they did this finale. It was very different from the last one, um, but I do like this one a lot. But yeah, guys, after this, I don't have any more Demon Slayer to react to, uh, but a new season is coming out soon, so I will make that the weekly upload. I'm very excited for it. Where, what are my season four predictions? Um, seeing how Muzan's focus has now shifted, and he's very motivated to track down Nezuko, I mean, damn, I mean, I mean, I don't know how we're going to be able to protect her. <laughs> She's going to need every bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, season four predictions, um... Damn, and you know what, how about let's just watch the trailer right now, I know it dropped earlier. And instead of me just watching it by myself, I might as well just react to it with you guys. Let's just watch the season 4 trailer. Yep. Bro, it's so weird seeing her without the, the muzzle. Is this? I want the best, bro. This is. There we go. I want some better quality. Hashira training, okay. So we're gonna get trained up to be. Damn the veins. I recognize the guy in the damn are you guys seeing what I'm seeing I mean shit I mean I mean damn um <coughs> oh wow uh yeah that's a lot of onigiri right I mean if Makio's there I mean sh shit I'm in that's good to see Makio Also, why does Tengen give off big dad vibes here? Former Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui. Yeah, he. Serpent Hashira, okay. Stone Hashira. Giyu! I wanna see Giyu.
Bro, I want to know more about him. Hashira training arc. Okay. May 12th. Damn, that's right around the corner. How did Shinobu know that they were after Nezuko? Because they shouldn't know. Because Muzan just had that realization. Unless they know that that's what Muzan is searching for. And they somehow know that with Nezuko being able to survive the sunlight, that Muzan would be looking for her, right? I don't, I don't know. How did they know that? Well, I mean, I guess that answers my question, season four. So, protecting Nezuko. Hashira training. Damn! I mean, to be fair, Tanjiro survived so many, I say so many, but two, I mean, they were huge. Two upper rank fights, right? And one lower rank, but I mean, Rui was, you know, old news, not not very strong. I mean, to be able to hang with Mitsudi and, you know, Tokito, I and mean, we've seen what happens when Tanjiro unleashes his Hinokami, and Zenitsu's a god when he's asleep. I mean, Hashira training, I mean, they're, they're, they're damn close. And if we can get Tanjiro to Hashira level, then... You know, that's perfect, because I'm hoping that they realize that with Tanjiro knowing Sun Breathing, the strongest original form of anything, if you dump all of your attention into Tanjiro and make him as strong as he possibly can, then he can single-handedly take out so many demons, right? And we saw a little bit of Makio there. I mean, you guys, I mean, you guys know. We'll pick right back up with Demon Slayer on May 12th with the new season. I can't wait. Damn, yeah, we're going to be put through the ringer, because I know those Hashira are no joke. If you think about it, Tokito being able to pick it up in three months with some seriously, you know, intense training. Tanjiro is the same lineage, right? Same father lineage of sun breathing. You put Tanjiro through the ringer there for three months as well. Yeah, I mean, I can I can see him becoming a Hashira very fast. And, you know, if anyone can do it, it's Tanjiro. So, and, you know, it's literally in his DNA. As we saw with Nezuko's blood cells, right? It's in their DNA. Yeah, guys, that's all the notes I have from this past episode. I'm so psyched to get to season four. Uh, but with all that being said, that's all I have for season three. It was a banger of a season. Like I said, it was great in its own ways. I think it's important not to compare it to season two in every detail because there's some things that season two is missing and there's some things that season three is missing and they both each make up for it, right? I think they're both great in their own ways. But yeah, banger of an episode, banger of a finale. Put me through the emotional ringer, man. I'm I'm toasted. I'm done. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have the full reaction on Patreon. and also have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Hope you all all have a good one.